the lead of that study was Mario Belusic, who's now at the NCI. He was at Fox Chase at the time and had a grant-funded research platform looking at the question of exceptional responders. Um, and Fox Chase isn't the only group to look at this, the NCI has as well. But we know clinically in almost every clinical trial, certainly with immunotherapy, there are some patients who just do amazingly well. They come in with lots of tumor burden, their tumors melt away with treatment, and we keep seeing them in the clinic years later. And it's wonderful to have these. It's, it's, you know, it keeps us going in this field to see patients doing so incredibly well. But um, Dr. Belusic's hypothesis is that there must be some molecular underpinning, perhaps, that, that could identify who these patients would be. And so in looking across disease types, he selected patients that were exceptional responders. So just as I described, had a wonderful response to therapy. Many cases were able to stop therapy and maintain disease control, or in some cases, we think cure afterwards. And so, you know, described there, we didn't find sort of a smoking gun or a clear link uh, genomically to those, but we do see that, again, the story of DD DNA damage repair, portending for a good response is still there and sort of is a thread throughout that study. Um, and I think even though it's a small sample size, it kind of serves or can serve as a, a bedrock um, hypothesis generating study for folks who want to take a certain tumor type and really coalesce a group of exceptional responders within each tumor type and delve more deeply into pretreatment biology.